what's up and welcome i am the one and only west coast king and welcome back to the orlando city career where today we're getting right back into season number two we're almost at the midway point we're almost up to the summer transfer window but before we actually get into this episode let's talk about the simulations real quick i noticed a couple of you mentioned last episode and i noticed as well just too many simulations so i am going to scale back on those just a little bit i simulated four games last episode and watching it back I just didn't like the way it was. I mean, it seemed just too chaotic and too random, and I just didn't like it. So we're definitely going to scale back on the simulations just a little bit. And I might end up playing a couple more games per episode, maybe a three-game episode here and there where I play three games instead of just the normal two. We'll have to see. So we're going to change it up just a little bit. But today, we're getting in, and we have some big games on the schedule. And the first game today is going to be in the U.S. Open Cup, round of 16, and it's against Philadelphia on the road. Our objective this season is to get to the quarterfinal in this competition, so we have to at least win this first game. But that is not going to be easy. Philadelphia, easily at least the second best team in the league, if not the best. I mean, we're right there, one and two with them. So this is a huge showdown. Obviously, you can see a lot of changes to the team, including a new formation for this one. I'm just trying to get the best team possible on the field, and I think this formation best suits that. So let's get in here. A big game against Philadelphia and hopefully take this win on the road. All right, here we go. Kickoff against Philly. And there's one big change to Philly's lineup. And that's there is no Barnetta in there for them. He is on the bench. But last time we played them, he killed me. He scored two goals against me. And we ended up drawing that game in the playoffs last year. So the fact that he's not in there is a very good thing for us. All right, we've got a corner. Looks like they're going to let us play it into the box this time. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's a man. Christo. Oh, they blocked it. Crisco Gonzalez had a wide open header and just couldn't beat the first man with it. Oh, no, no, no. And we're down one. I can't. <laughs> I'm so pissed right now. That all came from a bad call. We got fouled. Nothing given. And then we did the same thing right back to them and it gave a foul. Resulting in that free kick and that goal. And we must have Mark Geiger as our referee because that was disgraceful. But, all right, we're down one nothing. We didn't cover that free kick very well. That's on us. we got to do a better job with that. But we got work to do now on the road. Big play, Cameron Carter-Vickers. Pulisic. Ref, that one was a foul. But Swanson gets by, man. Come on, Swanson. Come on, Swanson. You're there. Yes, he's through. Come on, Ben. Come okay, there's... Ref, penalty. That better be a pen. Thank you. Oh, he made up for the call. This is definitely Mark Geiger. <laughs> we got one back. We got a shot with a penalty now. We got to get this one. All right, it's going to be No Serino, our best penalty taker on the field right now. No Serino puts it home, no doubt about it. One all in Philadelphia. This has been a crazy game already. Play that ball over the top. That's a great ball to Higuita. Higuita, fend off your man. That's beautiful. Ref another pin. Ref another pin. Oh, he's so... I am 100% sure that's the spitting image of Mark Geiger right there. Two pens in like six minutes for us. To be fair, they were definitely both pens. But we have a chance to take the lead now. All right. No Serino one more time. I'm actually going to go same spot. And he bangs it home once more. The keeper hasn't even moved on those penalties. I don't know what he's doing. But it is now 2-1 over Philadelphia. Let's go. There is the whistle for halftime inexplicably a 2-1 lead i mean philadelphia was in control of this game and then two really bad plays from them both in their own penalty area and we've got the lead heading into halftime if we can hold on to this for a little while they'll start to push numbers forward maybe we can hit them on a late counter attack and put this one away all right <laughs> we still have 30 minutes left and we're getting dominated oh my god we're just getting killed right now by philly I oh i made the bed oh no 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 please 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 get there jesse gonzalez oh that was the worst defense I might have ever played. I took the wrong angle with that on Col with Colin, and I that almost cost us. Oh, no, he do got by me. Oh, big play, no Serino. Whoo, he stopped that play. Here we go, come on. Play it here, and another one. Pulisic is up the wing. Come on, Pulisic. Big touches, cut it inside. There you go. Play it. Not where I wanted it. Play it one more. Yes, and another one. Molino, finish this game. Oh, just wide oh look at the ball straight up the middle is he gonna find him it's Higuita what a pass Higuita the worst shot I've ever seen what happened Christian Higuita one on one in that little piss shot what is that Gat please get back please get back there you go big play Joshua Gat just clear that thing up the field we're not taking any chances what a pass though Molino get the pass off it's one on one Rakez 
Rakesh, please put this thing away. Rakesh shoots. How are we missing? We've got control of this game. We're not going to lose it now. There's the final whistle. A 2-1 win over Philadelphia in Philly. That was big. Not only for the U.S. Open Cup, but now Philly definitely know that we're here for this season. It's going to be us and them down to the wire, it feels like. That was such a tough game. Yeah, we kind of got bailed out on two penalty calls. But I definitely think we had plenty of opportunities late in the game as well. We just missed them. We got to take those chances better. But we were definitely in that game nonetheless. So I said today was going to be tough, and I was not lying. We are now off to face Portland for game number two of today in Portland. They're in second place in the Western Conference, and after this game, we have Houston, I think, at home, and Houston's in first place in the Western Conference. So it's just a, a, just a gauntlet of fixtures for us right now, and it's not easy. There's not a lot of rest between games. But we're just going to keep on pushing. We're going to do our best, hopefully get some points here on the road against a very good Timbers team. All right, here we go. Kickoff on the road in Portland. We come in two points clear of Philadelphia, and they have made up one of those games that they had in hand over us. So we've only played two more games than they have now, so we keep picking up points here and there. Maybe we can extend this lead a little bit. Pull the sitch. Ball in. Back post. Arayibi with the header off the post. Follow up Christo. Christo scores. There it is. 1-0 over Portland. Not sure how R.E.B. won that header. That's not really his strong suit, but he came through. Great win. Just missed a goal of his own. And Cristo Gonzalez, right place, right time. Good finish. Keeping it low. Perfect. Right in the corner. We've got that early lead over Portland. He's offsides, right? Please tell me he was offsides. Okay. He was offsides. He was offsides. Ooh, oh, my, my heart jumped a little bit right there. I thought maybe he wasn't. Oh, wrong pass. Actually, good pass. Pulisic, go. Use your pace. He's through. Come on, Pulisic. Turn it in. Turn it in, Pulisic. Come on. Ref, he's pulling me. He's tugging me. There it is. Oh, what a save. There is the whistle for halftime. A 1-0 lead in Portland. Could be more, though. Christos had a lot of looks at goal. Just some good saves from Kurasi and a couple of misses. So very nil, so very near being much, much more. All right, we've got a free kick in a very, very good spot. Can Kaká go up and down from right here? Maybe didn't hit it hard enough, but he did. Oh, it's a sitter. How oh, do we miss? How? Oh, it's kicked away. We didn't actually get a touch to that. God, we're so close to scoring goals today. We just, for some reason, just the smallest thing is stopping us. Oh, Roquez. Find that ball to Kaká. Kaká, put it. Holy crap, Kourasse. Are you serious? Pulisic back in the... There's nobody there. There's actually nobody. Not even a person even close to that. There we go. R.E.E.B. R.E.E.B. Play it back in the... There he is. Perfect R.E.E.B. Beautiful dribbling. Just keep going across the box. R.E.E.B.'s open for a shot. R.E.E.B. scores. Finally, we get our second goal. Took us to stoppage time to find it. Probably didn't even need it at this point. But I'm glad we finally got it. And it's R.E.E.B. Just using the pace and the ball control to get through the entire defense. That was beautiful. I mean, that's that's why I love him so much. He's very, very good at doing just that. Perfect play from him. We're going to get this win on the road over Portland. Very hard fought, but we're going to get it. And there is the final whistle straight after kickoff as well. Don't let the score lines fool you. These have been two of the most difficult games I have played in this season. First Philadelphia, now Portland. They're two very, very good teams. Never easy to win on the road there. But we picked up two wins out of two. And that's very, very promising for this team. They're very good right now. I mean, we're just, we're just on fire. So straight after that last game, I get an email from Cristo Gonzalez saying that he's not pleased to be stuck here and not being selected for the team and wants out in the next transfer window. Not saying that he would like a, another shot or more opportunity to play. He just straight wants out. Uh, that's not good. I really liked him, actually. Uh, he's actually started at least the last four games, so I'm not sure really what he's talking about. He's kind of just chatting shit at this point. I mean, he is playing. I don't know what his deal is, but I'm going to try to fix this. I do like him. He's played very, very well thus far, especially as of late when I needed him when Kyle Larian got hurt. So I would definitely want to keep him. So in an attempt to keep Cristo on the team, I'm going to try to offer him a better contract. He wants important first team player. I think that's what he's on already anyway. But he wants $6,000. i will offer him $7,000 and important first team. 
Hopefully that fixes whatever his... I, honestly, I don't know how to fix this because he is getting that playing time. If it's just down to he wants to leave, then he's going to leave. I, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Now, it's been a while since I've done this, but I am going to play a third game today. We're at home against first place Houston, so it's a one versus one showdown. That's why I wanted to play it. I want to see what Houston really has that's making them so good this season because I did not expect them to be this good out of all of the careers I've played in the MLS. Houston has not been in first place this deep into a season in a long, long time. So I'm curious to see what they've got. We've had to rotate our team just a little bit, but it's still a very solid squad. All right, here we go. Kickoff at the Citrus Bowl against Houston. And I've taken a look at their starting 11, and honestly, I have no idea why they're so good. I do know that Kubo Torres is the top goal scorer in the league as of right now. That probably has a lot to do with it, but other than that, I, I really don't see how they're that good. And right, we've got a corner. They're going to allow us to have it short. We are going to take it short. Roldan. Oh, that was a bad play. That was a really bad move from Roldan, but he gets free. Rolled in out top to Aurelian Cullen. Not the guy I'd want to take a long shot, but he's so bad that it almost worked. All right, we got a counterattack of our own. Cristo, Cristo Gonzalez. Play that ball to Molino. Molino. There you go. Get to the touchline. Ball back in. No Serino. Why, why did No Serino not just head that into the goal? It was a wide open header. Dang it, that was probably our best look of the entire half, and we just screwed it up for no reason, but it's nil-nil at halftime. Just to be honest, I can't figure out what Houston is doing offensively. They're very difficult to read, and they make weird passes, which is opening me up sometimes, so I I'm very hesitant to get forward. Maybe that's their trick. Maybe that's why they're so good. There we go. Ball roll. Yes, Acosta. Acosta fires. It's just, we're not going to win this game. All right, we have possession. There's five minutes left. Is there enough time? Maybe there is. Cristo Gonzalez! This keeper is unbeatable. Nothing I do beats him. There's literally nothing I can do. That was a great shot. I can't beat him. There we go. Keep it in. Yes. One more attack. One more attack. Acosta. Here it is. Swanson. Swanson. I see a man. Nope. Pull it back. Acosta. Back in there. It's Swanson. Swanson. Acosta. Swanson, Swanson shoots, Swanson scores! There it is, finally! That was the last attack of the game. Oh, Ben Swanson's the hero. I don't know why we had so much trouble scoring in that game. That keeper was just on crack. We could not beat him. I have no idea what his deal was, but that shot, finally. Oh, man, we deserve to win this game, too. We were definitely the better team, but... That damn keeper, though, man. I'm going to look at getting him next transfer window because he's incredible. There is the final whistle straight from kickoff. I was joking about the keeper, by the way. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with Jesse Gonzalez. But for real, though, that was ridiculous. That I've never had a keeper. I've had some keepers have good performances against me before. Nothing like that. He saved. He literally saved everything until that final shot. He was ridiculous. But we do get these very hard-fought three. This is the hardest three games I've played this season or in this career easily. But another hard-fought three points for this team. All right, so the Cristo Gonzalez situation continues. He did accept that contract and said he looks forward to proving that it was the right decision for us to offer that to him, but he's still unhappy. So honestly, no idea what's going on with him. Hopefully, if we just continue to play him, and we have to at this point, we don't really have a choice. So if we continue to do that, hopefully this situation will just resolve itself. So one last game today, and we are going to do one simulation. We're going to play at home against Dallas. Dallas are in 6th or 7th place in the Western Conference coming in. So hopefully this team can get it done, but if you take a look at that squad I'm putting out there, it's very, very rotated. Luckily, I think we have a pretty good break after this. So hopefully a good rest will do us some good, get some people back. Christo scores. We win this one 2-1. All right, a good performance from the squad. Even Roque has got a goal. So we will be hitting the transfer window next episode. And I'm just looking at the squad, trying to figure out where maybe we could use a little bit more help. Striker, I think we could probably use one more of those. Laren is hurt. Cristo Gonzalez's situation is still up in the air. I don't know what he's going to do if he wants to stay or leave. And then we only have Roquez behind him. So I think we could probably use at least one more striker. And a center attacking mid as well. Kaká just doesn't have the stamina to play every game. And I'm not really all that comfortable playing starting Roldan as much as I have to. I'm fine with Roldan as a reserve in, you know, in, in pinch situations. But 
as a, a real backup having to start multiple games a month probably need a better center attacking mid as well everywhere else we're stacked we definitely don't need another wide midfielder definitely don't need another center mid center back maybe just because the only thing i can think of is maybe we send glad out on loan and get another center back to sit behind collins carter vickers and Hines, who we actually just got back from injury as well. Though he's not back to full fitness, he will be very soon. So we have three good starting or three good solid center backs: Colin, Carter, Vickers, and Hines. Maybe could use one more, but that's really a luxury at this point. We don't need one, but we could get one if we wanted to. So the squad, as you can see, they're looking really good. Getting good growth out of some players that I'm not even training. So I'm really happy with where this squad is at. We can only improve in this transfer window. As things stand right now, we are six points clear of Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference. But they still have those two games in hand over us. But even if they win those two games, I don't think they'll catch us in goal difference. We're plus 22. They're plus 10. But have a look right below Philadelphia, who are on 35 points. Columbus, 34. New York Red Bulls, 33. New England, 32. Very quietly, I haven't even noticed, teams are creeping up. And if we start dropping points, we could fall down the table quite quickly and quite a long way. So I don't want to see that happen. We got to keep the pressure up, keep getting points. We're playing great right now. I'm not worried about it at all. As long as we keep our form up, stay injury free, we should be okay to maintain that lead throughout hopefully the rest of this regular season. But we're only just over halfway through, so we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. So... That is going to do it for this one. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you when we come back with some more Orlando City career. See ya.